Pizza Delivery by Tyler One. Times are tough. Welcome to the Pixel Kitchen Podcast, where we talk about anything on our minds at breakfast, lunch, dinner, honestly, anytime we feel like eating. I'm your host, Mac. With me are my co-hosts, Tom. Hi. And Sean. Hello! There you go. Today, what's on our minds has been mainly Xbox with uh, everything that's come out recently. Price drop, the leak of the S, the all access, NVIDIA. With the 3000 series GPUs and then buying ARM or attempting to buy ARM for $40 billion? Million. Million. Uh, oh, I don't know it, now. The, I was about to say the link you sent me says billion. Wait, what? Billion. Wow, NVIDIA's looking to buy ARM, Tom. Yeah. Uh, they're looking to buy uh, ARM for $40 billion from SoftBank, who paid $32 billion for it in 2016. What the fuck is ARM? ARM? And so I learned about this. ARM, you would think, was the company that manufactures the uh, chips, the uh, processors that they use in NVIDIA stuff, and all, people use it all over. But what I learned was that ARM actually doesn't manufacture anything. They just license the technology that's inside of it. That's no. not good. So uh, in, in NVIDIA would control that licensing. Right. Yeah, and well, it's good and bad. Depends upon how you look at it. But so, yeah. but NVIDIA has been using ARM technology. And the reason why they're doing this is because they're trying to get into the supercomputer business. According is to this, this something article. that AMD uses at all? That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at it purely from a gaming perspective. Is this going to allow oh. them to further hinder? Well, a lot of mobile devices mind. use ARM processors, if you recall. I don't know if they do anymore, but yeah, let me let me read a little bit of the help, Tom. Nvidia has long of... held the leading position in AI compute in the data center, particularly in the leading supercomputer over AMD and Intel by virtue of having both CPU and GPU production in-house and tie the CPU and GPU together in much more sophisticated ways than NVIDIA due to their purpose-built designs. As a result, the most important supercomputing contracts from the Department of en- en- Energy can't talk, have recently gone to Intel and AMD, both of which have the advantage of tightly coupled GPU designs that will power the world's first exascale class supercomputing. Derivatives of those same designs will eventually fill, filter out the broader market. Talk now. I need a breath. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too fast? <laughs> yeah. Well, so it sounds like a. You know what it sounds like is based upon their pricing, and this is just wild speculation. But they're going after AMD's market, right? So they're, they're trying just... to. What looks like, at least in the GPU side, I don't think they're like I don't. They're not caring about AMD's GPU market. They don't want the competition on the GPU market. Well, especially since AMD fucking slapped the shit out of Intel. Yeah, they just need to find that groove. Just need yeah. to find that groove in the fucking GPU and video better run. Yeah. yeah. Or drop yeah. their prices and stop playing games. Oh, they dropped, like, that. we're going to get to that time with the 3000 series. Oh, good. Who? NVIDIA? Yeah. But we'll we'll finish this whole ARM thing. Go through it a little bit more, skim it, try to... What does ARM stand for? ARM you architecture. Know... Switch up ARM. I don't know if it actually stands for anything. I'm sure it did. It was... ARM previously advanced RISC machine. Originally, Acorn RISC machine. A reduced construction set computing architectures for computing processors configured for various environments. Boom. More you know. There you go. I'm not going to remember that tomorrow. But thank I, you I was the one that read it, and I'm not going <laughs> to That makes sense. Advanced R-I- RISC machine. Okay. Trust me, Tom. 
we're going to continue to talk about this. I'm not going to run five fucking minutes. It's a good thing we have a recording of it to refer to. Exactly. <laughs> we'll listen to our voices telling us about it and go, wow, this is like a, mo- a memento mori thing. Nope. Especially if we witness ourselves having a stroke halfway through this. <laughs> Trust me, mine happened at the beginning of this. Well. You're looking uh, for the comparison that NVIDIA's singular focus on GPU compute limited ability to compete with complex designs that fully leverage the ad- advantages of sensors, memory, Another one? coherences, screenshot, accelerators like GPUs, and the naturally custom ARM base would address that. That would. GPUs Three. would. The sixth. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna restart that sentence. God damn it! <laughs> you need to put more gas in the tank before you rev it up, Mac. Try <laughs> number two, and go. <laughs> Naturally, custom ARM-based NVIDIA CPUs would address address that need perfectly, and the company has already paved the way for tighter ARM integration with recent introduction of CUDA support for ARM architectures. So they're basically trying, like, from what I understand, if they get this, they can implement it more and make it easier for them to do things. They can bring so it sounds down. like. Yes. And performance up. Well, if they're not paying a uh, licensing fee to ARM. Yeah, and they just uh, have it in-house. Yeah, but we all know how companies say they're doing things for to make the prices better for us, and they never and they don't. That's not, why I. That's why I specifically asked that question. Some companies and do, like, but the bigger companies are like, we got fucking shareholders to goddamn think of. They don't half the fucking time. And look at EA. They say multiple times. They say multiple <laughs> times we're not gonna put fucking ads. Okay, okay. This this is something that literally literally goes up with your thing, Tom. Yeah. UFC, the most recent game. There wasn't going to be ads in it. Michael they literally, the ads in they game. no, they literally made There's it. Ads? They literally made it to like the in between rounds. They play actual ads. Damn. And but there was so much fucking backlash. It was like we'll take them out. We'll we're not going to put them in again. They put them back in, didn't they? I don't know yet. No, oh, they haven't they fucked up learn. yet. Okay, this is AI. Hey, doctor. It's not, the, it's not that they don't them. learn. They just continuous. They're gonna continuously try shit, even if they know it's gonna fail, so they can make money off of it while they can. They're gonna ride the line. That's how shit they are. Like, <laughs> drives me crazy because some of the games are actually okay-ish. But Apex like, is fine. God damn! They, they it's, just... it's their sports game fan base that's the problem because they buy all the microtransactions. They they spend all that money, all that shit, so they can get away with a bunch of crap. Yeah. Because that... People it, who play FIFA... It, it doesn't everything. matter if, if every other gamer boycotts them. Though, those people alone will keep them well-funded. And it's mainly FIFA. And that's the problem. And FIFA's another organization that's just as greedy, so they'll never part ways with EA. Yeah. I guess we're good with ARM, then. Yeah, we're good with ARM. It has because the potential not... to be good. Yeah. But they also have um, the potential to fuck a yeah. Yeah. We would have to, yeah, we're going to have to put this in the developing category. It's like, yeah. yeah. I don't know enough about well, ARM competition itself. Competition in the free market is always good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just don't exactly know enough it. about ARM. Can you? What? 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 You know? Like I said, developing. Stay tuned yeah. for developing. Long when more stuff short. comes out about this, we'll probably bring it up in next week if we fucking do next week. Because god damn it, we can't keep these consistent. Shit happens. It's life. Mac, it was 115 degrees. In my I don't office. blame you. It's just, it's just every fucking time. Like we're gonna, we're gonna be consistent with this. Fuck me. Colorado's on fire. It's a little hot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey. Colorado Mac, just I... had snow three fucking days ago. <laughs> I I freaking living the apocalypse. It snowed for three fucking days here. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> it's like okay, not a lot. Not that well, stuck because it didn't get. I mean, it was oh, yeah. twenty no. degrees for two days. Dude, but, uh, it, if I showed you what it looked like outside right now, you'd be like, uh, people have been comparing California's weather to yeah. uh, what do you call it, Blade Runner, and that's exactly what it is. It's like, what yeah. the and now people are in California are passing around a video from the fire of a fire tornado. They're like, oh my god. <laughs> I've seen that video. Oh, oh shit! What, what's it like? What, what, hey, I got a plan. What's next? We're gonna evacuate all the useful people out of California, and then we're just gonna flood it to put the fire out. No, okay, okay. That's funny. Give the coast a nice bath too. Well, the, the problem with that, it, yeah. Okay. Of course, all that water come, all of our water comes from Colorado, right? So. Yep. But so along those lines, you said evacuate. It made me think of this. So the National Guard has, uh, what is it, CH uh, 46, the Chinook? Was yeah. 46s? Yeah. The Chinook helicopter. 47s, I think. Yeah. One of the two. And so there's people stuck up in the uh, in this area that fires everywhere, right? It's not looking good. And yeah. the fire authority tells the National Guard to back down. The National Guard goes, yeah, I don't think so. And they fly the choppers in there and get the people out. And they have photographs from the cockpit as they're landing, loading people in to get them out of there. And there's just fires everywhere. And these badass National Guardsmen are just holding the line, do, 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 getting people out of there. It's the most amazing thing. Nice. I'll be right back. Someone's at my door. Okay. I feel that's that's where we should cue uh, uh, a stranger song by the doors. <laughs> what? <laughs> when you're a stranger, a stranger. <laughs> uh, I guess we can move into the GPUs and then catch Tom up. Gets back. Yeah. Well, this is you really yours and Tom's area with it. All you the know GPUs. A little bit, though. I know. I mean, you bit. fucking sent me the, the 3060. Yeah, well, I'm paying attention to it, and because it, the whole release of the NVIDIA graphics card was amazing news. And oh, yeah. it was not not only is the technology and the freaking solid as a rock, and their performance is... Oh, yeah, they're getting so much better. Yeah, right? And But the prices, what the heck? Who saw that coming? No one. No one legitimately saw them... Do a 2080 Ti for five hundred dollars. It's amazing, because that just makes it so much accessible, so much more accessible for people. I mean, that's sending a message you, that. To be entirely yeah. honest, a five hundred dollar card is still out of a lot of people's price point. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. But at least it's an effort to. Oh yeah. Not, I think you know. I wonder if this would have happened if. COVID hadn't happened, to be honest with you. Because the global economy is like trash. And if I they think had... it would have because a 2080 Ti at launch was $1,200. I mean, that's the 1% of people being able to buy a card. Yeah. And, and then I you get the point zero five, like the point five percent being able to get a Titan. Right. I know. Well, to be fair, we're talking like consumers, the, not uh, people who actually work and need the higher performance. Yeah. Right. We're right, talking right, consumer right. people. The 60 series has always been targeted as the mid-level. Like the... The 50 level series is entry gives, level. 60 the series is, is the mid-level. Like, the 70 is the mid to high. Is the, and is the, the 80 pro, is, is the, the high. Pro. The 80 is the um, enthusiast and above level. Anything at, at 80 or above is considered enthusiast, which is why it's priced the way it is. Oh, yeah. But it sounds like NVIDIA is realizing that if they drop the price a little bit, more people will buy it. Oh, yeah. Which, if you look at the prices right now, $500, like I was saying, is still out of people's price range. That technically means the fucking, what... <laughs> This goddamn link has euros and not dollars. <laughs> I don't know what the exchange rate is. The euro is worth like a dollar twenty something right now. I ain't doing the math, Tom. Oh, which oh, that link I shared with you. Yeah, 
There we go. I got it. It's seven hundred dollars for thirty eighty. If I were to go buy my budget currently, I couldn't buy any of them. But that's not. But that's also like that's too recent. I can't buy a power supply to run any of them currently. Because I ain't losing an arm to buy one. Yeah, I know, right? But and remember when we were looking at this last week, it was the thirty seventy, the thirty eighty, and the thirty ninety. Yes. Right. And now it's come out that there's a thirty sixty as well. And yeah. Like, there's wow. There's <laughs> a leak of a thirty sixty Ti, which, as I told Sean earlier when he sent it to me, there can't be a Ti without a normal one. <laughs> Because if you look at past records, there was never a TI version without a regular version. Or the 60 TI for the for the 3000 series could just be that that was their lowest run, their lowest quality run of chips, and they just performed that well. Yeah, you could Maybe be correct. Because I'm looking at like the comparing it on that uh, link I have in there, and so. If the 3090 has 24 gigabytes of RAM, and the 3080 oh, yeah. has 10, yep. then the 3070 has 8, and this is reporting that the leak is saying that the 3060 has 8. So it's like, yep. okay, what else is different about it? It's a CUDA course. Yeah, power. The 3070 has 5888 CUDA cores, and the 3060 has 4864. Clock okay. speed will probably be around the same. It might actually or get higher because matters. of less CUDA cores. Uh -huh. But CUDA cores is where it is better at. And the main reason, like, where you usually get a uh, 60 in a 70 series, because they're usually not too far off, it's because it was a lesser chip on the silicon wafer. That won't perform as well as... Yes. They needed to for that particular spec. Like, when I... Okay, I heard this about the 10 series. Like, the 1070 and the 1080. The reason you had 1070s... Well, the reason... Like, you had some 1070s that performed a, a lot better than other ones. It's because there were 1080s that didn't perform as good as a 1080. On the silicon wafer. So, they're like... This still... Like, there's still no real issues with it. It just doesn't perform to this... But it performs more like this. So we'll sell it as a 1070. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Mind you, I read that fucking back when the 10 series was the thing. So I could have got a lot of that wrong. I'm not someone who's got any of these cards. <laughs> oh, not right now, but maybe yeah. in the future. If the 3070 oh, yeah. is reporting in at what it's reporting in, that's almost doable I, with some negotiating back and forth. But oh yeah, I, I'm looking at how thick these cards are, though. Jiminy Christmas! I do not they'll like them they'll get cards, better. Though. They look weird. I don't mind them, but they'll they won't be that thick. With also, they're not reference anymore, Tom. What do you mean? They're not called reference anymore. I don't think. Because I seen a tweet from Jay, Jay's two cents, saying, I think it was in quotes, reference cards, when they're not technically reference cards anymore. Well, I got 98 cents for him. Okay. I thought reference just referred to, to um, like, the factory reference card, like, that's the card it comes from. The that's, that's my speculation on it, too. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going off what I see. Okay. <laughs> but no. What do they refer to? I don't know. I didn't you see can't an tell us not thing. to call it something and then and then not tell us what to call them. I could have been I could have just not seen it. No, the price the price of thirty seventy is five hundred. The price of thirty eighty is seven hundred. Both those are doable for a decent number of people because those are actually good like those are those are priced properly. In the performance is fucking astronomical with the numbers they showed. We haven't seen anything for ourselves that other people like Jay's Two Cents or Lioness Tech Tips or Gamers Nexus have shown yet. In the 3090, if you, if you need the performance of the 3090, 
you have the money for a 3090. Oh yeah, that that goes without saying. If you're buying oh, yeah. a 3090, well, how much is and, it? yeah, yeah. No, how much is it? Fifteen hundred dollars. Oh hell yeah. Again, if you need the performance of 3090, you're working. I mean, you're in an environment for your work where you can get that money. That's a fucking gaming computer in itself. Yeah. I, I would say, I, I would venture to say, if someone's going to purchase a 3090, they're going to purchase two 3090s because yeah. they're at that level where they don't want a one card processing multiple monitors. They want oh, yeah. one card per monitor. Oh, yeah. Or more. Yeah. <laughs> they'd have a server, like, they'd probably have a server rack. Because uh, I recently watched Linus's video on Dead Mouse, where he went to look at his shit. He just had a entire fucking. Uh, he has a server rack in his basement. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a server rack, but he had an entire chassis of just fucking GPUs. Mhm. Mm it's for uh, rendering his music. Yep. Really? He yeah. Uses GPUs to render his music. Nice. Yep. Wow. That's what GPUs are for. They do uh, a lot of uh, supercomputing too. Yep. So he really is That's a, the, a uh, he's a nerd like um, us. Yeah, oh, okay. he's super fun. Oh, you got to watch the video. He has the actual keyboard used for R two D two. Yeah, he's a he's a nerd like us. He's he's like us. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! I didn't know that. He's also the only person outside of Dolby to have an uh, Atmos box. Yep. He also has a fucking a screen from Microsoft that no one fucking has. I think there's like six in existence. The Surface Table. It's it's like a mon he has it set up as a monitor, but it's it's a touch screen, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's. Uh, I'll have to look at it and see. Yeah. There's a there was a short run of Surface Tables, which was basically a desk, and oh, yeah. your I, car dealership had one. So the reason I got to see one because I could mm -hmm. never afford it, and uh, I signed documents on it, and I was like, "Oh, this oh, is nice. so cool! I I so want one." <laughs> something out of the movie like 20 grand <laughs> i think they're probably more than probably especially if there's just only a short run of them yeah but uh release dates on these 3070s in october uh 3080 and 3090 are in september 17th for the 3080 24th for the 3090 3080 coming soon yeah well it's nvidia they don't show anything unless it's ready to go out yeah they really don't like to tease people dude all those fanboys that bought the uh cyberpunk 2080 uh yeah right Am oh I yeah the right numbers are like super selfie because they just dropped like <laughs> they spent 1300 maybe i can't remember exactly how much those were because they were branded by a game yeah I think it was 1300 and the card they have is a 500 hundred dollar card now it's five hundred dollar card. That's how it's I, was... I think it's worse than a thirty seventy because they said it's a thirty seventy like performance, but it's a little better. You know, it looks badass. I mean, just I'm one of those guys that would buy it and sacrifice performance just because it looks cool <laughs> until it annoyed me, and then oh I no, that card does system. actually look pretty goddamn cool. Like you like the fucking steampunk shit, and cyberpunk is right up that alley too. Yeah. I, I I'm wondering if <laughs> architecture wise, if we could disassemble the the coolness, the cool parts of the uh, twenty eighty, and put <laughs> you know like kit bash a, a custom uh, thirty uh, like seventy together out of it. Maybe if they haven't changed the fundamentals of how their PC is. Yeah. I, that would, I'd say I would, to a I certain would, extent, but I don't think you'd be able to get it flush enough to actually cool it right. Because, hell, there was a lot of fucking aftermarket uh, water blocks and shit that were like, it'll work on this card, it won't work on this card, but they look the exact fucking same. Dude, I still can't get over the fact that we have consumer-level computers running... Uh, liquid uh, water cooled systems. I'm just like, ah, oh, that's so cool. I mean, I would still call them enthusiasts, even though they are slowly branching out into bigger things now with, oh, yeah. with closed loop systems. But yeah, Fuck, you can buy those for 60 bucks now. Commercial 
mar- they're not exclusively the commercial marketplace anymore. Nope. Mind you, a custom loop still is. Yes. That that's still expensive. Yeah. You know, Ek I, Ek is trying to make it cheaper with the all aluminum, but it's still. I expensive. feel like if I was gonna well, have Ek's not that huge either. Like they're big, but yeah, they still got production costs. If I was gonna have a liquid cooled system, I feel like I'd want the reservoir and the cooling stuff external. So like you had your computer you and then you that. had ports. Oh yeah, you can 100 percent do that. And then like uh, you, just you need know, compression pump. fittings. And then, yeah. Um, yeah. And then you put it completely external. And then, you know, you did something like that. You can have a cool setup where you take that uh, the heat exchanger and even side of your office. So, hmm. You can totally do that. There's actually oh, yeah. a, um external system that you just have to run disc, quick disconnects and yeah, um, hoses out. You have to loop your computer. Which that would actually make mm-hmm. it extremely easy to empty the loop, at least in the sense of doing outside shit, like filling the loop for outside and trying to empty it that way. Yeah. Well, the other nice thing is, too, is it comes with a radiator that'd probably be in the side of a small car. Yeah. <laughs> so, Wouldn't have an issue with cooling. Heat well. Yeah. Dude. I, I, that's so cool. But, you know, there is such thing as overkill, too, because you do want the CPU, everything to yeah. reach a certain operating temperature for efficiency and mm. uh, optimal that's resistance. That's why all the, um, the fans, if I remember right, are PWM. Yes. Yeah, a lot of folks when they're uh, custom and building oh, PCs. Shit. I There's know. new fans that are fucking amazing. Jay just did a video what? on them recently. Look at this it's, Jay it's, guy. I don't want Jay's two cents. It's he's actually his videos are actually extremely. They honestly, I think you'd like them. You'd enjoy them very. Third in a car nerd. Yes. <clears throat> but no. Jay is two cents. Yes. Yep. He just did a video on these Leon Lee fans. I book. Leon Lee's been around for a minute. Yeah. Who? They're, they're the Leon, Leon Lee. Lee. They make cases, but now they're making fans. Uni fan. They're right now only in 120 variants, but they're RGB. They're black and white. Like they RGB. look fucking fantastic. RGB don't mean shit, but yeah, it's, it's just a fact. That's the fact. It has right 100 now. horsepower. Fucking wish. <laughs> uh... I'm going to put it in the thing. Just go there if you can take a look at it. Oh, okay, thanks. I was just trying to search it, and I got a lot of them. This Leon Lee doesn't look like a fan. <laughs> Why not be? PC cases for, like, they're like they're, plus years. Yeah. They're also the expensive. Too. Yeah, they're high-end. They're... But, Tom, the way to connect these fans, because you know how you have to, like, Connect fans into a controller and everything with Corsair, you and you have you, you, no cables to daisy chain. You're connected by just connecting the fans. They oh they, they have pads. The power? They have pads on them just to connect them to each other. What the fuck does that mean? Go to the link I sent. Where'd you put it? It's in the it's in the doc. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. On Google. The Google Doc, Link Tom. it in the Discord. I can't oh, access well. the Discord because then it, I'd fuck up the goddamn stream and recording. Oh. You know, we just hold on. We got It's no big deal. Oh, but uh, but uh, oh, hey. I have things in my drive I should... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's got things that shouldn't be there. Well, I'm sure the feds already have a plan for me. <laughs> uh, okay, so Leon. Okay. Oh, they have a little Together. pad connect. You can hook up four at once. Technically, none of us will have a case that will use four fucking fans in a row. So, if they make a connection side by side by side, they pass it to each other. Yes. Oh, I see what you mean. So they hook onto each other, and then... And you only have one cord coming off of them. Nice. And the RGB and everything works on it. And the even better thing, Tom, is their uh, software is so bare bones, it doesn't fucking crash. It just does its job. 
Corsair were talking about you? Uh, any of them. Any of them. Not yeah, just Corsair, I mean, it's all of them. Uh, people Corsair have gotten so lazy coding, and they build these bloated-ass really programs. They, they, you know, I, I don't want to call out the, 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 the uh, what do you call it, streaming software I paid for. Uh, they, but they spend more uh, time on how it looks than how it functions. I was yes. watching it lag my system, and I was like, oh, I'm going to try this other one that I don't have to pay for. And I'm like, and it's like almost invisible. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh, yeah. Uh, they're, they're essentially the same program, too. And I'm like going back and forth going, actually, this other one's got a lot more features that the other one I paid for doesn't have. And my CPU doesn't skyrocket. Well, you know, until I put it on my GPU. The but, other, anyways. Yeah, the other cool feature of... Uh the software they have, you can give it, like, you can just completely take it away from it, the software itself and give it to the motherboard software you want. These fans will completely connect to whatever software you want. Huh. No, I just so if you have, little... like, if you want to be able to connect it with, like, uh, ASRock's fucking RGB sync, what are the, I can't, I've been using it so fucking long, I can't remember what it's called. It's been pissing me off. Oh, I use uh, Razer's uh, Chroma Studio. Yeah, but it, that won't read my RAM. You gotta download more dedicated WAMs. Do time fuck up. Here. I've tried that. You it doesn't got, work. You got, you got my son, my youngest son, saying that. Tom, what? The dedicated WAMs? The dedicated that's, WAMs. That's, Mac, how old is that meme? Kai 64. That's, that's the first that's, Minecon. That's, that's, that's Minecon fucking, what, 2000? It's ASRGB. <laughs> that's, what the, that's, that's what the thing is called. And then I have to download Gigabyte's separate one to be able to change the fucking thing on my goddamn graphics card. I would have, I'd have, as, I'd have Azrox's Gigabytes and motherfucking Razors on here. Just let them connect. <laughs> Let me connect them. Somebody, does make it easier? I don't need three. I shouldn't have to have three of these. And guess what? They all have to be running to make the shit work right. You can't close them. So it's just fucking CPU usage getting dumpstered. I may have a motherfucking eight core, but come on. Well, how are you gonna do? <laughs> Deal with it, cause it's not big enough yet. For what? Tell these companies to fucking figure it out. And send back no, better stuff. We can tell them to figure it out. Nah, no, we can tell them to figure it out. It's just not gonna fucking do much. What's up, Sean? Not yet. I was just gonna say, Mac, get on that. <laughs> yeah, Mac, start the paperwork. I'm the paperwork guy. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> What is it Jill says? More of that dedicated Lamborghini. I have not heard him say that one. No, oh, yeah. I haven't heard that either, and I don't want to ever hear really? that again. <laughs> that was not okay. <laughs> I put this one in here because I, I kind of like it. Dude, what have we done to my poor son? He's like a merge no. of all of us. <laughs> we can't say we did it. <laughs> He's had we technology since he was fucking born, Sean. Uh, you can't blame it on us. You gave him the technology. Uh, yeah, I know. I on Facebook I po the picture of him as a little kid with a controller turned off and him thinking he's playing it next to Jared. Oh, that still haunts me. I go, oh, he did this. Yeah, did it too early. You, you know, we <laughs> still have that little mini controller I bought for him that fit his hands. Because his hands nice. are so small. He shit on many a Halo player before the age of three. Dude, people would just rage at him because he was hey, so lost. Hey, wait till we get shit. to Halo to talk about it. <laughs> talk oh, about Nintendo sorry. now. Oh, I even have my Nintendo shirt on. I bought nice. my Nintendo shirt. It's Mario's what are we talking 35th about anniversary. Oh. I liked it because I actually enjoy Nintendo. I grew up on it. I just there, didn't know there was a... Yeah, they had a direct recently. Uh, 
Super Mario 3D All-Stars to be released on Switch on September 18th it includes Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. I'm pretty sure all of us know Super Mario 64 and how good that actually was. Nope, never played it. Are you serious? Yep. You played you played Ocarina. Yep. But you didn't play Super Mario 64. Nope. Holy shit, Tom. I got the N64 and a couple games for Christmas, and that was it. Okay. Super Mario Sunshine. Also an amazing game. I'm going to be honest, though. Both the first ones, 64 and Sunshine, the controls are not that great. <laughs> but you had that fucking weird-ass fucking boomerang with a dick to deal with with 64. And then 60, and then GameCube controls were just... Terrible. Eh. Some games were great, others were not great. And then Galaxy was on the Wii. And honestly, if you don't have to deal with motion controls, the fucking Wii was fantastic. So Galaxy played fucking phenomenally. Uh, Super Mario 3 World and Bowser's Fury are being ported to Switch from the Wii U. Fine with that. That's more games on the Switch. More good games on the Switch. I think that's really it. There's a Mario Battle Royale coming out. I don't know how it works. Super Mario All-Stars will be released today on Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay. So you get the original Super Mario All-Stars. And the new one? Original? No, you gotta buy the new one, but you have to... I think you just get the original one. So the... The only problem with the, the Switch, right, is how much it can store. And you, that's oh yeah, you, you, you don't get shit. You don't get shit to store these. Yeah, and so it's dependent upon you buying, as I remember, an S micro SD, right? Yep, micro SD card. Which and, those are um, fucking dirt cheap. So. Well, yeah, and they. My phone course, comes with 128 gigs in it. Mine too. Wow. Wow. Bought a new one recently. Fun day. How much does the Switch come with? None. You have to buy one. It doesn't. It has internal memory it and it's has... really small. Wow. And how much does the switch cost? Uh, lights two hundred bucks. Docking one is three. That's how much. They probably did so that to keep pricing. Yeah. You know? Could have a thirty-two gig and a sixty-four gig. Thirty-two and yeah. light, sixty-four in the dock. I mean, the games aren't that big anymore. though. The yeah. games aren't like what we're dealing with right now, Tom. Yeah, well, but, they, know, but still, they're all devices like that. I want to have a grip of games to be able to play. Oh yeah. So, have you installed Skyrim, uh, Skyrim on it? Because I'm in, curious to how large Skyrim installs that. No, because I won't buy Skyrim. I bought it once on PC and never played it. Really? It Ever? got it got old. No, I played it. I played it. I tried to play it once, but it got overhyped like a motherfucker to me. So I went in thinking it was the best shit ever. And was sadly disappointed. Oh, I really dug that game. I played the crap out of it. I'm also not, like, I enjoy open world games. It it just, it didn't hit me. It didn't hit me right. Fallout Steel 4. Steel says it has 756 hours in the game. Definitely got Oh, when yeah. I played Fallout couple Four, thousand, a couple thousand at least. Yeah, when I first played Fallout Four, when I got it for uh, the Xbox One, it hit me, and I played it for thirty hours minimum, and I still haven't beat it. I have three hundred eighty-five in uh, Fallout Four. Yeah. How do you know? But this? those are your type of game. Steam tells you your playtime. Yeah, if you. But the reason Steam doesn't library. have my true Skyrim time is because there was a lot of it that I didn't play on Steam. Oh, yeah, I played it on uh, Xbox. Clarify really... on where you played it, Tom. Fuck. I'm not going to. Good. They also added a, uh... Kind of like... Holy it'd shit. It'd be AR gaming. Like, it's an AR experience. So you get this... You buy a actual Mario Kart... And you drive it around with your Switch in your house. Uh-huh. 
know how much it costs. I can see that. Like I can see AR that being hilarious. You come tearing around yeah. the corner, fucking slide into the dining room table, bust your oh, eyebrow yeah. open again. And you're like, fuck! It's like I'm three years old again. It. Damn I it! Think... I lost. I got blue shelled. But it's it's gonna be like a lot of people aren't gonna be able to do it. Not just because the price tag, if I'm not mistaken, but no one's gonna have the room. That's that's going to be like a niche style product. It's gonna be all the yeah. rich kids doing it. Yeah, or the streamers. Their mom carrying bitching in the background. They're all if, run over them. <laughs> I would buy it if we were in the same state. Mac bought it right now. He'd just be doing donuts in the living room. <laughs> it would be sitting in a box because I wouldn't care. I have Mario Kart 8 on my Switch. Uh, if I want to play, if I want to play that alone, I want to play that alone. <laughs> now fucking sit there with a real one. I'll go buy a motherfucking RC car that I can make go fucking 80 mile an hour. And then run it oh. into a tree. He revs it, hits the rev limiter, and the engine just flies off. <laughs> it's like, oh, that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Little nitromethane engines. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I just, I, like, I thought it was cool that Mario's 35th anniversary. Well, if you like that game, this is big news. If you, if you're a big fan of the Mario series oh, yeah. stuff, then we're which all three of those games, it's fucking massive. Yeah, like and it. as and let's be honest, people buy the Switch because that's what they like. Those are the type of games they like. Animal Crossing, Mario, Pokemon. You buy you buy Zelda. a Nintendo product because you like Zelda, Mario, Pokemon, or Zelda. Those yeah. are the four big, th big things that bring Animal Crossing. That actually. How long has Animal tons. Crossing been around for? A long time. Like how long? Uh, fucking goddamn it, Tom! You're making me look like, like back to the nineties. Me look it up. Two thousand one. Okay, so Animal Crossing can be number five on there. I didn't know jack shit about Animal Crossing. No, because it's not your style of game. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Not my style of game. Okay, YouTube. <laughs> a little free advice in the middle of the podcast. When I hit refresh on the random shit, show me different random Sean, shit. I've looked at the same fucking page for four hours. Sean, I'm gonna put this in the. I'm gonna put this in the doc. I'm gonna need you to send this to Tom. Wow. And look at it yourself. It's the same fucking video. All right. Let me, let me know when you got it. Okay. I have 773 hours in Hearts of Iron. You got it? I'll send it to Tom. Yeah, to Discord. I'll send it. Discord. Okay, hold on. Uh, quicker. Uh, I searched for Animal Crossing, that's what comes up. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that Waluigi's head on backwards, too? <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's not right. Ow. This is Waluigi in Amiibo style. What the fuck is Amiibo? Oh my gosh. Scroll I don't think down. that's Amiibo. Scroll down further. Look at what the Pikachu. What? Down at the bottom. Oh, the really buff Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu smash! <laughs> there's also there's also a swole Charmander. Look at you got, you got, you got ultra swole Squirtle and Charmander and Bulbasaur. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no no no! Look at the Waluigi on the cross! Oh, oh my fucking so... god! Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a podcast just on this shit. Oh this my god! Out. Oh, Waluigi on a cross. Oh my gosh, this would just roast so many people. Everybody would be like, what is that sacral? Okay, Anyone. you know what I just noticed? The bottom of the pad, the pad says that the, ami the amiibo's on. The Smash. Yep. It's because it, it's, it's for... It's, it's for Super Smash Brothers, yes. Yeah. <laughs> to clarify what we're looking at, just search up Waifu Waluigi amiibo. <laughs> Waifu Waluigi <laughs> What happened to poor Bulbasaur? He's like, eh, hey, check these out. Guns. It's wool. Steroids. Yeah, you got the fertilizer. Okay, okay we gotta stop. Black Ops Cold War. Sorry, I'm stuck. What'd it be? 
Pika, Pika, or Pika, Pika. No, it would be normal. It'd, it'd be, be the high. Funny. It would be the. It'd be the high pitched one because the steroids. Comical. <laughs> Strong as balls. <laughs> okay. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. A <laughs> multiplayer footage leaks. This was fucking September fourth. It's been eight days. God. Damn. <laughs> Battle of the Refrigerator. They showed some stuff. Uh, five sorting classes are Stealth Ops, Point Man, Grenadier, First Support, and Double Hunt. Weapons have five attachment slots and level based progression. Some weapons, uh, some weapons shown in the footage include the XM4. Uh, search that up because I don't know what the fuck that is. Cool, I got okay. headphones. Hey, so just. Fuck you, Sony. Hey, does this mean that? All the cheaters are finally yeah, All the cheaters are gonna leave Destiny. No. For the AR platform. AK seventy four U. M sixteen. Yeah. The Gallo SA twelve shotgun. Uh, but no, I don't think no. The cheaters and fucking people are gonna stay on a game that's easier to fucking play. Yes, COD's easier to play, but it's only gonna have longer times to kill too. <clears throat> yeah. So it's being speculated. Which is supposed to promote less camping because players are less likely to get insta killed. Yeah. Uh, every loadout has a tactical, lethal, and field upgrade slot, which is filled okay. by the field mic equipment in this footage. Field mic. Field mic? I don't know. Perks include so tactical DJ mask. Yeah, exactly. Tactical mask, black jacket. Quartermaster, Scavenger, Ninja, and Goat. What's the fascination with ninjas this year? Bungie wants their hunter to be a ninja. Now we got ninjas in Call of Duty. Call of Duty's always had them. Really? Yeah. Like ninja diffusers and shit. Okay, I suppose this is where we ended up. Climber. That's about as how much of Call of Duty I actually... I was about to say, you... You had Modern Warfare 2 at one point. You had Black Ops at one point, but I don't think you specifically played them. No, no, no. The Jules was into it, and I think Jared played it a bit. Um, I like the uh, Ghost. Was that a Call of Duty? Oh, Ghost was... Uh... <laughs> that was actually one of the most hated ones. <laughs> yeah, I like... The only one topped by hate was Advanced Warfare. Okay, yeah. and which one is the Numbers Mason? I remember that one. Black Ops. Black Ops. Okay. The original Black, Black Ops 2, I think. Yeah, the kid, the boys played those because the, the whole Mason storyline grew. Yep. And the... yep. That was a good storyline. Oh, yeah. Kind of heartbreaking it's when like, Jules like, told me. I was like, what? It's <laughs> like one of the actual last good storylines that Call of Duty's done. Then they stopped making campaign. And then they made the Modern yeah. Warfare campaign. Yeah. Remade Modern Warfare. <laughs> Is the, the Modern Warfare that... campaign for this one any good? I haven't, like, I don't own it, so. I, I oh, think. I was going to say, if you heard anything. No, if I Jules haven't. is here, he could tell us. I think he bought it. But which one, which franchise was the one that had uh, Kevin. Uh... Kevin Spacey's character? Yeah. It was Call of Duty. Oh, okay. I believe it was Advanced War Fighter. Where he was essentially like an Eric Prince type character? Yeah. 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 Oh, let's look it up. Kevin Spacey Cod. Um, I'm afraid of what might come up if I type a search like that. Given how he, he's been in the news lately. It's Advanced Warfare. He's in the Thank news you. again? Yikes. Yeah. He's going to continuously be in the news. So is anyone hyped for Cold War? Woohoo. Story's good. I don't really play for the multiplayer. That's the, only, that's the only thing I would care about. Like, I enjoy Call of Duty multiplayer because I can just run in and not care. It's a situation yeah, of. It's Everybody something to talk to people and just have something to do. As long as, as, long as, the, as it's entertaining, it's fine. Do you actually talk to people? I remember playing that with No, I mean, tools, like, I think. you guys. Oh. Something you can turn your brain off and have a chat to, but play in the background, essentially. Yeah. 
Because it's Call of Duty, you're not going to care. You're not trying to get I... pro or anything, and you're not a 13-year-old trying to impress your friends. Yep. As I recall, uh, the co the other multipliers I play with Call of Duty are way less toxic than like. I think the maps are better. Is that true? Is that a true statement? Like, oh, there's more variations in the map. Like, there's. Well, for Which instance, games are we comparing? Okay, let's take Destiny for input. Their multiplayer maps are pretty flat. All things considered, there are some areas Destiny where you have high ceilings and stuff. Destiny yeah. 2's multiplayer maps are flat. Yeah. The original yeah. Destiny were actually like the maps were half decent. Yeah, and I was going to say, Call of Duty's are multi dimensional. I mean, you can really choose how you want to. COD and, and is that the well, one? Yeah, COD, COD has evolved a lot because I started playing when Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare released, and it... they were already multi dimensional where you could get the ground floor a second floor and even on the roofs of some buildings and that's the crazy one where you can call in like airstrikes or nuclear attacks or that was the first one you could do that in yeah okay. this was back this was back in the 90s though when this came out and or early 2000s what's what the one where multi four was on fucking 360 tom yeah I, I played it on pc and i just remember having an old pc so i was going off of the pch yeah, but I Tom, I remember you playing the What's original up? multi the original multiplayer game on uh, whatever system that was the the James Bond game, right? Because that's just the one that everybody talks Golden about. Eye, yeah, yeah. being the real multiplayer experience. I think the only other one, and that was after that, if I'm correct, is the uh, Perfect Dark. Yeah, but even uh, a successor to it. Public Command, not Republic Commander. There was a Star Wars game that had multiplayer that people really loved. Was uh, it Republic Battle Battlefront? Battlefront? No, before Battle. Before Battlefront, it would have been Republic Commando then. Yeah. Except the... Battlefront came out before Republic Commando did. I don't. Maybe it was something. Because Battlefront oh. is like Battlefield. It's like, um, it's it's that large scale with yeah. different classes of soldier and tanks and. Yeah, I remember playing. I played a lot of that online because that wasn't nearly. That was more fun than regular. That's why I became such a big fan of Battlefield until I think Battlefield 4 was the last one I actually liked. Uh, because yeah, of the like, huge variety. Yeah, I like that format where it's multiplayer, it's PV, uh, what is it? PVPVE. So you get, you are hunting each other, but also hunting uh, NPCs. Yeah. That's how it was in Battlefront. In Battlefield online multiplayer, it was all players. PC had 64 versus 64. Jeez. Oh, it was so much fun. It's like real wars. <laughs> and I played on the hardcore servers, so there's no HUD or anything. And it's literally you're working with your team. They broke. They actually did a really good job with 4. They put squad leaders in so the squad leaders could talk to each other and to your commander. And then the squads had five men each. 64? Yeah. On 64. Good. Because 32 huge. on 32 for PC wasn't enough. 64 on 64, you had jets flying around, bombs going off, tanks and stuff moving up. The games were so much fun. Because it was not easy. It was, if you were running around shooting people, it's because you were shitting on people. <laughs> Otherwise, you were getting destroyed yeah. if, you if you left cover. But then, huh. by Battlefield 1, they ruined it. The one didn't feel bad, but it wasn't great. Okay, so the reason I say they ruined it is they made regular a lot more casual, which that's fine with. I didn't play regular. They completely got rid of hardcore. Why? Completely removed oh, yeah. it from the game. I have no idea, and it just it like when I, as soon as I saw that, I like I was half dead, and then I played regular, and I was like, Yeah, well, for you, you it fucked was with my game. Yeah, it wasn't going to be you anything. You fucked with my game, and you took away the part I played. The part that only the people that want to play that part play. And then it killed it's not their, by default. Uh, it killed their player base, didn't it? Oh, it ruined it. Completely ruined it. And Battlefield Five isn't much better. There's no hardcore in that either. Huh. There might be now. There wasn't one released. Or if it was, it sucked. Hardcore was nice because you one-shot people in the head. I enjoyed 3. 
Three was fun too. Three was like the first iteration of four. Four was stupid for the levolution events. Mm -hmm. That's why I always be a fan of Bad Company Two because you could literally level damn near every building in the map except for the steel ones. Yeah. And we, there were games where we just had completely flat maps with very little bits of cover, and those were actually the most fun. I was on the tail end of that one because I didn't get to play it much. But there's also nothing better than having the entire enemy team in a building and you just drop the building on them and get like 20 kills. Uh, the arcade one, Tom. Battlefield 1940-something? Or 1930-something? 1945-something like that, yeah. I know what you're talking about. The World I War enjoyed II. that one, yeah. A lot, of the, a lot of the maps were in the Pacific and whatnot, so it was a lot of the Japanese only versus one. the Americans. Well, let me clarify. I didn't ever buy it. I only played the, uh -huh. like, the demo version of it, which you could play with everyone. But you only played one map. Well, and it's free now, and you can play it, and you get like a a bunch of multiplayer maps. It's it's still the, just the the straight up the battlefield experience, which is yep not the case anymore. You can drop buildings. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and Bad Company Two, which is everybody's favorite, um, just because of how it was designed and everything. The maps were just perfect they were designed for the game mode rush which was where one team attacked two objectives and the other team defended and you had to blow up like there was two bombs per per area and some places had three some had like five that you had to work your way through the map and they were so much fun because it was actual fights that if both teams were good it it took a while oh and then they stopped designing the maps around that it just got really easy to steamroll teams well man is it dated tom <laughs> What? I said, but man, is this dated? Yeah. Do people no, still Bad play? Company Two is like ten, Bad ten plus years old. Bad Company Two, yeah. It was right around the same time Modern War the Modern Warfare Two came out. I we kind of like. We were talking about Cold War and went to Battlefield. I kind of. If, I Wasn't there a Call of like, Duty that tried to do that? I almost feel like I want to play it, just to experience real. Is this the original version of what we call Battle Royale now? What? what? Battlefield? No. Yeah. No. Battlefield is is the introduction to getting into like things like armor, like real military sims, essentially, is what it was. Um, where Call of Duty is that 6v6 small form factor team deathmatch style thing. Battlefield was more about large-scale team play. Yep. And then one piece, um, when people got good enough, like the people I played with, it was literally one squad that could control an entire game. So this is... <laughs> DICE built this. Yes. On the Frostbite engine. Yes. And the um, Frostbite engine was specifically designed for Battlefield to allow them to do... Essentially, the Frostbite engine is the Michael Bay engine. So people are still playing it? People still play Bad Company too, yeah. On PC. And with Bad Company 2, there's a Vietnam version, so you get um, all the Vietnam era stuff and some Vietnam maps and all of the vehicles play, like Creed and Clearwater and shit. Yeah. yeah wasn't there a, um, a Call of Duty that tried to branch out and have, like, tanks and stuff in it? That was uh, World it's War II, wasn't one. it? Oh, it is this one, too. Okay. Yeah, because you love that. You actually did enjoy that multiplayer. Mode. I want that large scale multiplayer, yeah. Like whatever so, they called it, war mode or whatever, where there's vehicles and shit and it's I, actual. I didn't enjoy it because that's not what I wanted from my Call of Duty. Yeah. I wanted the run around just mindless. And I couldn't get that mindless because, like, I'm, a, I'm on you a can't big... be mindless in a battlefield situation. Yeah. <laughs> You can once you do it for a while, but otherwise, if it's you're not... if you're like this is Call of Duty, you just run around and shoot people. And when it's you're doing objective based gameplay, it's not even the fact of objective. I could go play fucking Control and Destiny and still like shut my brain off and do it. But that's because you played it enough. You know exactly what you need to do. But huh. it's the fact of that I it just wasn't what I was looking for in COD because I walk out and you get the issue, same issue with fucking. Battlefield with certain maps, just immediately get sniped because my brain shut off. So I'm just running straight and not doing the smart I'm shit. Get started on snipers in Battlefield, but that's that's the thing. I was that's my thing. 
effect of I want to play COD and want to shut my brain off. I can still do well. I can still play the objective. I just I don't want to be the always there. If I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go play Valorant. I'm gonna go play CS:GO. I'm gonna go do the shit that I can get a rank for. It's a hey. I'm actually good at this game. If I'm gonna have my brain always. Out. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. I shut my brain off for Valorant. I mean, you do, um, but I do currently because I, I can't, I can't play it because for some if fucking reason. If I don't, reason, then I care that I get shot because me. someone was pre-firing around a corner because they magically knew I was there. Magically, this is a new existence. Magical. Magical. That and you well, haven't played it enough yet to understand the maps. Get, get good, truly mad. Yeah, it's truly magical to just be like, okay, no one's there, no one's there, I'm dead. What did okay. I die from? Let's stop talking about all the games. We have another one to talk about that all of us actually give a damn about. What game? Master Chief Collection is adding crossplay between Xbox One and PC. Okay, I'm not playing with Jules. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, Tom, this will make it easier for Sean and Jules sit and play the campaign with us yeah they won't have to up they won't have to pay for game pass it's fucking halo camp um i don't remember if that has friendly fire it does grenades oh shit melees it, it's <laughs> oh, got everything shit. yeah it's gonna be a long series <laughs> what happened everybody we're all dead again why yeah. somebody let jules drive the warthog we're not doing hey. lasso tom Oh my Jules gosh. didn't get in the warthog. It said he threw a grenade on it. Yeah, and then if you listen closely, he'll just be giggling. <laughs> and they're like, okay, I'm going to die. What did he do to me? Where is it? Where is it? And then boom! He'll do it until he pushes me to that fucking extent where I'm pissed off. Dude, we were playing something and he pushed uh, our other friend, Sphinx, over the edge. Oh, yeah, I oh that. Wildlands. Oh, it was Wildlands. Which I, oh. Yeah, because he's a kid, right? He doesn't yeah. know when to stop. No, he knows when to stop. Yeah, he, he chooses does. to continue going because it's hilarious. <laughs> Dude, he is like the ultimate troll. That's, that's why, why we group, love it. That's why this group is also the best thing for him, because we'll call him on his shit and he'll learn, don't fucking push people too fucking far, or you're gonna get yelled at. And yeah. you ain't gonna like it. This it's isn't like... like it's not as bad as his mom yelling at him, but it's worse than you yelling at him. Yeah. <laughs> if you hold back, I won't hold back. Not when he pushes me that far. Because well, we all fucking he, know he will. You know, I hold back because, well, that's a whole other story for a subject track, right? It ain't uh, a story for podcast. No, nah, it could be. Kid. It could be, but I don't know. But, um, but what I was going to say is, it's also, you know, how we pull him back when we're, like, playing Gambit or something, and he goes, oh, I want to go over, and we're like, okay, wait for it, wait for it, okay. And then we'll go, you can teabag him. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, people quit. That's his new favorite thing, is just... But then he does that, and he's like, I don't want to fucking play Gambit anymore, I feel bad. And I tell him, don't feel bad, shit on him. I mean, at this point, with Destiny in his current state, just do it. That's what Bungie wants, anyway. Yeah. And this is how I know that game is broken: is when he and you, and when you know, we all know our roles when we play multiplayer. But when we get crapped on like that, normally I'm used to taking the fire so you guys can get the kills, and so we know where they're at. But dude, they're just like. That night we know? played fucking trials. Oh. Don't get me wrong, I haven't played Destiny consistently in a while, but I'm still not, I'm not that much worse than you. I know. I, it's just, and uh, I was just getting dumpstered. Dude, how do you think I'm I a, felt? I, yeah. I'm going I'm to say I, this right now. If I start acting like that again, I'm probably just going to walk away. I'm tired so, of acting like that. <laughs> When you put requirements in games that require you to play something like that, like you, essentially Trials is supposed to be the top level PvP where the best yeah. of the best play. Yeah, so if you, you make can't... that a requirement for everybody, you have to have skill-based matchmaking. And if light level is going to be a factor, there needs to be light-based matchmaking. 
You can't have something that's competitive like that and not have it fair at all with any rules or regulations. And you got to deal with the cheaters. They're always going to be cheaters. No. They'll never. Yeah, but not. They'll never truly get rid of them. But it's not going to be every other fucking game. Oh my gosh! Sometimes. Holy it's shit! Not every other game. I you like you get like every game in a row for a whole fucking night, and you're just like, I'm gonna go put my head through my fucking car door. I played some I'm games outside <laughs> where I was matched with people at my skill level, and there weren't cheaters, and I was like having a good time. And the match, you, you know, start checking your pulse. Am I dead? It almost timed out because the game was the teams were so evenly matched. We Those were are the fun just, games. Yeah. It wasn't Those like the best ones. And nobody had more than twenty two kills. Right? And it wasn't like completely lopsided where somebody has fifty kills and then somebody has See, thirty and that's what ca- that's what captures the people that actually want to play is when you're evenly that's that's the what would that effect be? It's like when you watch two evenly matched sports teams play. Yeah. And it's neck and neck the whole time. Yeah. It's the drama of it, and it's the challenge. Or it's like, oh. You're, you're one of the people contributing to it. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, you're, you're involved in it. You're not you're... getting dumpstered, and you're not dumpstering the other team. It's just, it's a tug of war. It's back and forth. Right. And that's yeah. what makes it tolerable, is I guess what for makes me, it is, fun, in my opinion. Yeah, I wish. Have that anymore. I wish we could go back to that, and maybe it's because I'm just playing so much because I am playing a lot of it, just mm-hmm. so I can get stuff done. And I'm just like, and the other times, like I said, it, when it's terrible and lopsided, I emote. What's the point? What's the point in me? It's like they're gonna kill me anyways. Why well, make it a challenge for him? I'm just gonna stand here and go, "Hello, I'm over here." Wave at him, eat some popcorn. Yeah, maybe my juice. team, maybe my team can use it to kill them. But you know, maybe, yeah. Who knows? Okay, Who knows? let's get, just let's try get, to throw your grenade before they kill you. Let's get back to the <laughs> fucking crossplay. God damn it. Okay, so crossplay, there's gonna be so many people whining and saying that one side has the advantage over because the PC players yep. are gonna say. Console players have the advantage because they're on a controller and it has the aimbot built into it. And the when I brought this up with players, Tom, console players, yeah. When I brought this up with Tom, PC I said the exact system. same stuff. There's going to be those bad PC players that can't use a keyboard and mouse, as well as some other people. They're like the aim assist is too fucking like it's helping them too much, or it's going to be the fucking vice versa where fucking keyboard and mouse is going to be shit non console players and like, well, put me in my own fucking bracket. Guess what? That's what they're going to do. They're going to make separate fucking brackets for everybody. So you can play against people that are with your thing or play with against people that are just open. Well, and this is a perfect segue into this because this makes me wonder what I'm about to say is hopefully the new Xboxes have this fixed, but they can't support a keyboard and mouse gameplay on an X. They can. They have it disabled. I don't think it's fully implemented yet. I'm not sure if it's completely disabled in games, but it's not fully implemented in game. Then that's just a software update. Yeah. And it's also game companies are are specifically going out of their way to block it as well. Probably. Hmm. For their player bases on those specific platforms. Because you shouldn't have to run a buy a device that maps remaps your soft your keys to their computers anyway. It's like yeah, it's a computer with a different fucking skin. Use the controller it, you want to use. The mouse and keyboard is a controller platform for those who choose to use it. Yep. There I mean, we all we all say this. Included. I will say can th- shit on people with the mouse yeah. and keyboard. Yeah, I used to be able it's to. Just how good do you want to be? Yeah. Uh. Look at Microsoft right now. They've made multiple controllers. They made a controller specifically for people with disabilities. Oh, that controller is pretty cool. It's the kit, right? That allows them to customize it and lay it out however they need it. Oh, that thing's... It's not that they're trying to keep everyone away, like keep keyboard and mouse off the platform. I think they're trying to implement it the smart way. Not just shove it in there and be like, 
get fucking blowback from people not liking it. I think they're just trying to implement it better. I think they're trying to let the community itself usher its way into it. Cause like, yeah, get used un to it. Unfortunately, there's there's no way that it's gonna come out on that without people bitching. It's not. There's fair. no way in hell. Yeah, the I can. Gonna be. Here's my thing. I can see it from both ends. Where I can yeah. see it from our end of don't care, just play the game. And I can see it from the end of I'm on a controller, and that man just snapped me. He's got to be cheating. But he's just using like, a keyboard. It's just mouse. Yeah, it's just mouse and keyboard. And so, I, right. but I can understand it. It's going to be a different experience for people, and I wonder if it's going to tell each other if they're a PC, a PC player or an Xbox player. They'd have to do what so, uh, fucking Warzone does, and uh, yeah. fucking GTA. It shows that you're using the it thing. Shows. Yeah, it either shows a mouse or it shows a uh, controller. Yep. Yeah, okay, let me read a couple things here so I can at least give some uh, insight to it. I wonder if this is going to segue into other games. Being uh, crossplay? Yeah, like the one we were complaining so much about. Crossplay yeah. needs to be a thing for the inclusion and growth of communities. I Xbox, think so too. Xbox is pushing it. Messes. And player bases. Xbox know, is they're, pushing they're, it. They're finally doing it. I've, what, I've... That motto of theirs, everybody wins if we play together. Yep. Microsoft, I'll take a check in the mail. I won't say anything. Just, you know, you guys do shit 10 years after I tell you to do it. <laughs> Technical <laughs> designer Dana Dirtback. I'm the P. Silent. In a blog post that they will be, be input-based matchmaking for certain playlists. We are looking at input-based matchmaking being implemented at the playlist level. This allows us to have more control on where we do and don't separate players into subgroups. Basically, what that means in terms of implementation in certain playlists, players will be locked to a given input, <coughs> and we will have a couple of different knobs we can tune to alter this experience over time. The Infection and Firefight playlists, for example, will not have input-based matchmaking because those modes are not cooper are more cooperative than competitive. Fuck, I still can't read. We don't believe it's like the 30th stroke tonight. Yeah, we don't believe that. We don't believe that there is a need God damn it, need to lock players by input in these areas. So in those cases, players will get full benefit of crossplay, so anyone can play together, which is really great. That is. So as long as you want. It's, it's it's semi region based so you don't get shit ping. Yeah. Cuz that's annoying. This should help those players player groups find matches more quickly and break down barriers between players on different platforms. Those offerings. Yeah, it's finally coming out when I'm talking. I've had the same it, issue. I've had like a I've needed that burp for like 4 yeah. hours. Couldn't come out when like you two were going on your Destiny rant. It had to do it when I'm talking. Dude, I had to go on the Destiny rant to get one fucking burp out. <laughs> uh, competitive it was very cathartic. Competitive Ugh. playlists, meanwhile, will have more rigid rules about input. And in some cases, it might be locked to only a single input. Other possibilities yeah, include people playing together with some using controller and others using mouse and keyboard. Whatever the case, players will become locked into a single control setup when they enter matchmaking. Though they can change this at any time outside of the matchmaking scenario, additionally players will be able to see what control setup other people in the lobby are using. There you go. Which is similar to the UI for Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone. Okay. Mouse and keyboard controls are generally understood to be superior when it comes to control and precision. Correct. But players like controller who want to go up against those they have a, they have a with mouse and keyboard. Learning cap for that. Yeah. Uh, the, the, but players and controller who want to go up against those with mouse and keyboard controls can do so. One issue that could arise with input-based matchmaking is that it could split the player base into multiple groups, which could slow, which could in turn slow down matchmaking times. Group of Three is aware of this concern and is planning to build out the Halo Master Chief Collection's crossplay with this issue in mind. We want to avoid a situation where there are three different separate populations searching. Having mouse and keyboard only population, a controller only population, and all input possible population will split the population extensively and having them all searching the same playlist now, will drive up the time 
to match significantly. We'll be able to tune this um, tune which playlists require input locking base on search times and player feedback as well. Our goal is to break down the barriers of platform of platform that that just read weird to me and focus on input method instead of so instead so we can tune the experience more easily. We want players to be able to play with their friends and make the pool of players who can match with larger players you can match with be larger within matchmaking and fill in. To be honest, my brain just kind of filled in some blanks there and I didn't. Now, I'm wondering, I don't foresee a lot of the PC base being like, I only want to play with people on mouse and keyboard. No, I don't see a lot of that either. <laughs> you will have those people who are like, oh, Ames is just as overpowered, and that's the people that take 45 minutes to tar to recognize that that's a player shooting at them. Yeah. But it's just gonna force you. It's just gonna force those PC players that are not at an average level to have to get better. Mhm. Mm Which is doable. It's just time. There's one yeah. last paragraph here. But there's time's no not the only factor. There's no word yet on when crossplay may Destiny. be added to Halo Master Chief Collection. And as always, Three for Three is not strictly committing to anything at this point in terms of design or implementation. So what they discussed in the blog post could change. In addition, 343 is introducing a custom games browser and the ability to choose multiplayer servers that may be closer to where you live. And as of right now, the Master Chief Collection on PC is still missing ODST and 4. Fuck. I think it's amazing that they're finally adding crossplay. I wished it would have happened sooner. Yeah. I mean, it's about time, but it took them forever to introduce their, their games to the PC marketplace. <laughs> it took them forever to bring Halo back. Yeah, that it did. And I kept saying for fucking many years, I don't think it's going to happen. We we always Surprise! had that conversation. I We always had that conversation, Tom. I didn't think it was going to happen. Legitimately. And I stand by that. I didn't think it was going to happen. Because it wasn't looking like it. No, it was because Xbox was... When the Xbox One f first came out, it was... Looking like it's its own thing. It was looking solely by itself. Well, not only that, it had a DRM on it and everything, and it was like gonna have noise online, and the community shot that down, and yeah, it's just it changed from there. It's like the community finally got their heads out of their asses. Yeah. Okay. It took them long enough. When does this happen? <laughs> When the Xbox One first released, it was going to have an always online mode and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the, 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 the Xbox community was like, fuck that. <laughs> no, yeah. we're not having that. We will not buy your console. No, because so it, much it was... So much so that even after they took it away, they still had to drop the price of the fucking thing. Or, or, what, down 200 bucks at most? Yeah. To get people to buy it? When I got an Xbox One, which I got the original one that started coming out with white, I got it for 350 Unfortunately, Sony's community needs to do that to them to get Sony to fucking they stop won't. being such grubby assholes. But they Sony won't. hasn't done that fuck up. Sony, yeah, Sony hasn't fucked up like that. and Their, their community is all elitist and shit, it would appear to be, because exclusives exclude people, you know? As we've said for a while. Damn, boys. But I do enjoy that companies like Epic told Sony to shove it up their ass about crossplay and turned it on for their game anyway. Yeah, to, to my knowledge, at least from what I've seen, PC and Xbox can still play together. I haven't seen yeah. any PS4 stuff, but I I know Switch has crossplay. I too. think more, and I think more companies need to do that. It's like if we des if I design a game that I intend for everyone to be able to play together. Yeah. I'm going to make you the bad guy by stopping it, not me. Yeah. Okay. You get to explain to your community why that's happening. Now we're on to the Xbox portion of this. 
bought All Access Series X and S prices that got released. And they almost did what we suggested that they do. Because the S version is going to be just a digital version, right? No disk drive? Yes. There's no disk so drive. We're suggesting okay. to just I'm, make, make I'm a looking at a, uh, without a disk drive. I'm looking at IGN's Twitter post with it's the Xbox Series X versus the S. The uh, X is 15.1 centimeters by 15.1 centimeters by 30.1 centimeters. I don't know the metric system. Guess what, Tom? This is what I got for you. <laughs> Figure out how much how many centimeters it takes to make an inch. You said that a computer. What I find so funny is that is that Microsoft is a U.S. based company. I, so I'm I'm letting you know right now. This is IGN's thing. They made is this. Is IGN U.S. based? I don't know, but. Go past that. Oh, it's also it's also fucking IGN. The Series S is nearly sixty percent smaller than the Series X. Also, another 60%? funny percent. Yes, another funny thing. This drive is not that big. Damn, what do they got crammed in that thing? <clears throat> another funny thing is, Phil uh, Spencer did a uh, thing recently, and he had the, the fucking big Xbox guy. He's the he's the face that you see when they do shit. Like whenever we watched E3, he's the guy for Xbox. He's but, like the CEO of Xbox. Yeah, I couldn't remember What's exactly who. Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer. Mm -hmm. But he had a Series S sitting on his fucking bookshelf in the back, and no one knew. Well, nobody it's was that looking. small. Oh, that guy. Okay. But Austin Evans, you should know who that is, Tom. He did some shit with Linus. He unboxed a Series S and Series X. And they're nope, so much smaller. Don't know who that is. Oh, wow. It's so much smaller. Look, this is, this is X That's versus That's like the S. size of a fucking VHS tape. I'm looking at it in his hands. It's very small. Uh, Are you shitting They're both me? up to 120 FPS. It's smaller FPS. than two 120 fans. Yeah, it's, they're both... Holy crap. Oh, damn it, Tom. <laughs> I get it. It's and, a waffle iron. Yeah. They're both up to 120 <laughs> FPS. The X is up to 8K. The S is 1440p with 4K upscaling. 1440p is just fine. 2K is perfect. 8K is ridiculously redundant. I don't want to get into it because I don't care enough. <laughs> Nobody has an 8K TV. Not yet. Uh... The one. X, there's an optical drive on the X, so it has a 4K UHD Blu-ray drive. The real no S doesn't have one. Just one more thing to fail. Yeah. Uh, the storage, there's a one terabyte NVMe SSD in the X. And there's a 512 it's gonna have some nice gigabyte right speed NVMe SSD in the S. Nice but it has an upgrade slot. That's faster loading. Yeah, I think they both have upgrades. Like, you can upgrade both. And then... I was going to yeah. say, I'd be curious if you could just open it and put a different one in. You you could on the fucking original Xbox One. Like, if I could do that, I'd put a, a, a Samsung Evo Pro. Hell, the... Again... Those things usually have some of the best read-write speeds out of any of them on the market, but that's because Samsung makes their own chips. We need to all remember the fucking uh, Mad Cats style shit that gets made for the... Yeah, you gotta watch out for that shit. That's the cheap shit that can fuck up your shit. But uh, and then the, and then the price difference: five hundred versus three hundred, or four ninety nine versus two ninety nine. Oh, yeah, but look I at mean, yeah, that's a two hundred dollar difference. If I remember correctly, they're doing a thing with them, like they did with the other Xboxes, and it was very popular to do this, where you get their Xbox Ultimate. We'll we'll get and, into that. We'll get into that. We'll get okay. into that. That's that's the last thing. Okay. I got it covered. Okay. Oh, they're gonna bundle it with prescription too, or subscription. Yeah, just wait, prescription. Just wait, just wait. <laughs> yeah, they're pre we prescribe Xbox Gold. <laughs> okay. Solve most of your issues for COVID. Now this Mainly is agoraphobia. One of the one of the players in that I linked 
is someone pointing out Xbox seen that the S got leaked, posted the picture of that fucking monkey with its eyes shifting, or the eyes looking backwards and looking straight, and they were like, let's make it official, Xbox Series S, next in performance in the smallest Xbox ever for two ninety nine. They mm-hmm. seen a also link got and went, went with it. fuck it. I'm running with it. Yeah. I love it. I mean, we all knew an S was going to yes. come out. We, we all, all knew. It. it was just speculation on when. Yeah. And how what it was going to look like, what it was going to be. Oh, yeah. I love it when companies do this type of shit and just run with it. Okay, so it got leaked. Fuck it. Who okay. cares? I'm all just right, going to run. I'm going to run with it. At least they didn't pull an And I'm going to do something. not acknowledge it at all. Yeah. I think AMD's also we done that, We don't know what you're talking too. about. I think AMD's also done that, too. <laughs> they may have. I love, like, I, I just love it when companies do that type of stuff. And, like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna leak the stuff? Ah, fuck it, we were gonna do it soon anyway. Here you go. Hit the button. Let's be, let's be honest, the, the, uh, Microsoft, the Xbox, uh, social team, the Xbox team is kind of on, what you guys say, on flick or whatever right now. On point. We don't do any of that. Don't say the other word. Don't say that other word. I'm gonna gonna save you that right (laughs) We don't say that word in here. That's not. Yeah. That's not in our we, vocabulary. We just, we just go I don't know how to point. use that word. <laughs> we, need, um, we need Haley to come here. On fleek to use that word. isn't even used. Yeah. No, that's, that's not true. I've heard, heard people happen. use it. I just don't know. How to, I don't. No, Tom. Like, it, legitimately, that's a word. it's not used anymore. I just, that wasn't a joke. It's actually not used anymore. Okay. There's some people around here. I should tell that to them. I mean, hey, it's all fucking region based too. There's shit in California that's, that's used and that gets used nowhere else. Except for hell, okay. that shit spread like wildfire. Xbox All Access. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, yeah, Is that like Xbox OnlyFans? You're no, all no. <laughs> You're all inclusive <laughs> pass to Xbox. In Xbox Series mm. X or Xbox Series S so, console plus twenty four yes, months. Is. Of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate from twenty ninety nine for twenty twenty four ninety nine a month for twenty four months with no upfront crop upfront cost. Fuck. Hey, no Xbox, no upfront crops. Yeah, Xbox All Access is everything you need to experience next gen gaming. So yeah. what does this do? So Why you is get twenty four ninety nine a month. You pay so... you pay twenty four ninety nine a month and choose. Well, that's the minimum, so I'm guessing that's the S you pay for. Yeah. And you get the console and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. For twenty four ninety nine a month. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Or just pay wow. ten dollars more and get, get the X. And get so the you X. make payments on that. Yes, yeah. you, you make, make payments, payments until yes. you pay it off and then you just pay for gold or whatever. Yeah. Well, there's no gold anymore. Game Pass. It's Ultimate. Game Pass. Okay. Um, well, congratulations, Microsoft. You just made gaming accessible to, like, a big that majority of people. That. Now, this isn't something new that they've been doing. No. It's you a can get the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S for a good chunk of time. Because I looked into it and went, oh, that's actually not that bad. Because yeah. right now, they still have one right here. The best value in games and entertainment for twenty two ninety nine a month for 24 months. An Xbox One S console, twenty-four months of Game Pass, and an eighteenth, eighteen-month console upgrade option. So you can upgrade. That's huge. Like you yeah. can upgrade to a Series X. That's that's really huge because there's a lot of people that can't afford a two, three hundred dollar. No, they plus can't. They can't drop. afford the massive <laughs> payment, but they can afford there's some another people that twenty-five don't bucks. That, but like, there's a substantial amount of people. Yeah. Uh, that's someone did. Someone did the math in the comments. I can see that cutting, cutting out used consoles. Yeah. Someone did the math in the comments here. Taxes are included. Prices are for North America. Yeah, in the Xbox Series X probably console, like price not yet official. And change, if anything, really. <clears throat> so, with the, the S... That do online tax. Yeah. So, the place, so uh, price with the S is a total cost of 600 bucks. The console is 300 the game pass is two forty. Yeah. A monthly uh 
Uh, I'm not looking at this. It comes out to about 540. So 2250. You always end up paying more. A you pay about like for that. You're gonna pay a little more in the long run. It's more. just like, it's 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 like getting a loan from anywhere, or make, or buying a car yeah. when you get it when you get it financed. This is how it is, but it makes it more affordable in the short time. One hundred percent more accessible to more players. Yep. It's like it getting should. a fucking credit card. Hey Mac, just think of it this way. There's gonna be a huge wave of f fresh people playing. There's gonna be at least some games that go by in like two minutes. Yep. Just be like, well, they just all got the game. Yeah. 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 And there's a lot of people here that like are shitting on this saying, well, it's this much more. You're not saving anything. You're not supposed to save anything. You're paying out. You're paying a monthly fee. You're paying less than thirty dollars a month to have a fucking three hundred dollar plus console. You're paying you're access paying about, to a huge game library. Yeah, the, you're also the service and the service for it. And if you want to go with the X, you're paying forty bucks a month. Yeah, that's yeah. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but you're not dropping five, three to five hundred dollars right then and there. No, you're spending thirty to forty. This will actually help a lot of fucking kids get a console. Yeah, because a lot of families can't sit through me like. I don't have. They can't afford a three hundred dollar drop. I don't have three hundred dollars. Yeah. This really is out that don't have three hundred dollars for That's fucking like Christmas. That's like you want groceries or you want an Xbox. It's That's groceries yeah, for everybody. It's eat or you get an Xbox. And ninety percent of the time, the kids will say, "I want an Xbox," and be like, "I'm hungry." Yeah. I mean, it's fucking later. You want an Xbox, you're gonna be hungry fucking two minutes later, and you're gonna eat that Xbox. You're gonna be hungry more than two minutes more fucking later. But. Yeah, it's 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 just the fact of I see a lot of people who are like, well, this doesn't save you any money. Like, you're supposed to go go yeah. talk, go talk to anyone who's rented a fucking thing from Rena Center. All right. Yeah, you, you end up pay more. more yeah, you pay more than the thing's fucking worth. But you don't have that kind of money up front to pay yeah. for. That's why when that's why it's that, expensive to be poor. Yeah, that's why going to it fucking Rena Center. Motherfucker, I can't go spend twelve hundred dollars a piece on a motherfucking washing and dryer. I'm gonna go rent the bitches. Tell you own them. Exactly. And you're gonna pay for that privilege of being able to do that. And you know, it's like people that think that poor people are getting all these handouts. It's like you know what? No, they're, they're, they're doing not. what they can. With what they're the they're doing what the fuck they have to do. Yeah. I mean, keep in mind, getting a gaming console, like, we're talking more than just getting a gaming console at this point. It's, like, surviving. It's not even living at that point. Yeah. Oh, no, like, if they're that fucking bad off, this isn't even an option. No. We're talking no, about people, we're, we're, like, we're, we're, they we're have... We're saying in general, like, you have to pay more for the Xbox. It's like, well, yeah, because there's people that couldn't afford it otherwise. Yeah. And for a lot of people, for video games, it's therapeutic. It lets you escape. Yeah. What the fuck is life if you don't have something to escape it? Escape? Is it just or, all just fucking or work? Or, or hear me hear me out. Escape or be a be part therapy. of something and not feel lonely. Yeah. It's straight be fucking therapeutic no matter what game you're playing. Fuck, look at the people that fucking watch football. You ain't playing it. No. But you're enjoying yeah. your time doing it, watching it. And you know for damn sure you talk about how we won and we did all this when your ass was half drunk, passed out on the couch with your wife yelling at you. Exactly. We weren't playing shit. <laughs> exactly. Oh boy, those are fighting words. <laughs> you might be playing fucking touch button the goddamn couch, scratching yourself. But hey, it's like I can feel I'll have you know I played football in high school and blew out my knee. It's like, well, that's why you don't play pro when you watch it on the TV. Yeah, you hear that sound? You hear that sound? That's a thousand uh, redneck sphincters puckering up right now, getting ready to. <laughs> hey, and they don't all drive NASCAR either, but you know damn well that they drive their cars just as fucking crazy as those people on the NASCAR track do. They just don't get to do it professionally. I l I I'm I'm gonna say this because I find it funny. Exactly what my sister's fucking husband is like. 
what watches four sports games and was like, "All right, we won." I'd be like, "Really? Where's your ring?" He also does it when That's his kids play games. Living oh, oh, he's he's, he's one of those people that's a sports fanatic who's like, why do you watch streamers play video games? Oh no, he why hasn't you said watch professionals play football. If he ever says that shit to me, I'm gonna call him on his bullshit. <laughs> he's never said any of that to me. But I'm talking about he He doesn't Yeah, but haven't you also like pretty much made it clear that you lay that man out? Because you have like zero respect for him? <laughs> oh no, I've pretty much made it clear that I don't have respect for him. Okay. He understands that. It's like, I know he knows you do not like him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know that has been made very clear. Oh, yeah. That man understands. Okay, you back to... Like, ask him to ask you something, and he's like, no. No, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be the bigger person and deal with him because he is married to my fucking dumbass sister. And if I was an okay, asshole... But that only just... goes so far. No, you're right. Doesn't only go so far. It only goes so far. I should have told my mom that. I'm like, mom, you you date a dumbass. I don't care if you marry him. This that it only goes so far. No, back to all access. Why do we end up going into my fucking family every fucking time? Because we always end up going into someone's family here. We got plenty of shit to talk about. I don't need to bring it up. <laughs> I need to deal with that. Hey, well, you know, for once ah, they aren't straight. yelling right now when you're streaming. Oh no! If they start fucking yelling again, you need to get like ain't a red light that goes on outside your outside your door when you're on air. I'm not like, having an like, on air fucking shit. light. Fuck off! No, just get a little little red light that rotates and just like, what the fuck is that? Shut up, Max. Max streaming. No, if I was gonna do that, Tom, I would have an official on air light, and it would be posted right in the motherfucking living room, right on top of the TV. No, I'd be right at, like right in front of the fucking. Just no. have that Mission Impossible sound meter going off out there. Uh, there's some frequently asked questions. I can go into that if we want to. Sure. Okay. First one is, can additional items be added to my Xbox All Access purchase for a low monthly price? Well, we're always looking for new ways to give gamers the best value and choice. Right now, you can't add other items, such as accessories or extended warranty. That type of shit. I would see them adding things like controllers, though. Oh, yeah. Microsoft provide the financing for Xbox All Access. No. Microsoft does not do that type of shit. Uh, from what I see, you the only one you can go through currently with the retailers is Best Buy. You probably have to get a Best Buy credit card. And that's not hard. Everybody gets a Best Buy credit card. I don't have one, but I don't go to Best Buy all that often. No, no, what I'm saying is, like, you literally can have, like, 100 points as credit, and they'll fucking give you a Best Buy card. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I use my credit card instead of a Citizens One line of credit for my Xbox All Access, all access purchase? No, low monthly payments for Xbox All Access are only available through Citizens One line of credit. Oh, okay. So you ask me Citizens One line of credit. Oh, okay. Let me look this up. Citizens One... Let's look at their about us. To what they are. Our goal is simple to help our customers find lending and credit solutions that are right for them. One is a brand name for his team. What are you doing over there, Tom? <coughs> Good? Yeah, it's just hot. Okay. This is one is a brand name <laughs> for Sid Banks. Fucking dumbass lending business outside of <laughs> banks eleven state outside of the bank's eleven state branch footprint. Through Citizens One Auto Finance, home loans, student loans, I'm not saying that fucking more personal loans, card services, the bank offers a diverse array of products and services to meet customers. Thirteenth largest retail bank in the United States, delivers a broad range of financial services. Okay. So they're a more notable bank than what the fuck I thought. Uh, this is any, Fargo. Yeah. Are any of are there any fees for that line of credit for Xbox All Access? There are no application fees, annual fees, or late fees, nor early repayment fees. 
exploit the line of credit for Xbox All Access. However, late payments may be reported to the credit bureaus. Which I understand yeah. that it's a late payment on a credit fucking line. That makes sense, but I like that they're not going to try to nickel and dime people too. Yes. That's Can I combine... Considering what this is trying to... What yeah. market this is oh. trying to target. Uh, can I combine all Xbox All Access with any other promotional offers? Xbox All Access is an exclusive standalone offer and can't be combined with other offers, such as the temporary price reductions or trade-ins unless specifically stated. That's the main ones. I don't feel like going through them all. Yeah. Well, that was it important, like, really. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it's a good deal. Yeah. It really it's, does. You're paying about 100 bucks more. And you're, you, I mean, you're not even paying about a hundred bucks more. You're, but you're buying five hundred and forty dollars worth if you get the S. Yep. So uh, you it was five hundred and forty for... if you're paying for Xbox Game Pass. It was six sixty, I think, for Ultimate. Okay. Which I'm gonna be honest, that's, that's still worth it. Yeah. You're looking not at it that much more. Yeah, looking at it logically, if you can't do a one lump sum, but you can do these payments, like. If you could actually budget out these payments in your budget, it's not a bad option. That has to be a substantial percentage increase of play or potential player population, like twenty percent or more. Think about this: it solves. Could that could solve Bungie's problem too? It might. I don't. I don't know no, if I'd go that far. Solve Bungie's problem is what we already talked about. They need to stop sucking streamer dick. Yep. Oh, they added EA Play to Xbox Game Pass. Ah, oh, nice. Just what? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Xbox <laughs> Xbox Game Pass Ultimate includes EA Play, which gives you in-game rewards, access to a huge library of great EA titles, and more. Oh. It's coming holiday 2020. So. Oh, so I don't have it yet. December. Not until December. No, huh. no, no. October November. holiday, damn it. No, but normally it's November. Yeah. It's end of year usually a holiday. It's generally black it, it coincides with Black Friday. Yeah. It's Almost usually. always. It's like when all the big Call of Duty releases are as well. They always release oh, yeah. in November. It's when all the big titles go, because that's um if I remember right, the uh the prime time to release new product for Christmas presents. Dude, yep. it's like uh Cyberpunk. Uh, the new Destiny, and what was the third one? Valhalla. Valhalla. All the same time. Same damn day. $160. $160. Wait, what? Destiny? Oh, that's right. The Destiny um, expansion. Yeah, yeah. Destiny expansion. That's 40 bucks, and it's 60 a piece for those games. Okay, so what if when Beyond Light releases, um, we realize that this DLC was literally designed for the streamers with their input? Hmm. I'm not going to... Real, it'll be the real Dying Light. <laughs> I'm not going to buy it until I figure out, like, find more shit about it. Because, like I said, Tom, I'm not enjoying it currently. No, and... I'm not I... playing it. Honestly, at this point, I feel like I'm only playing it just so I don't fall behind and there's something to play. You're playing it just because it's something to play. And it's something to play with people. Because you'll fucking sit there and goddamn play Fallout and Skyrim all goddamn day. You don't give a fuck. No, no, straight up. I've been trying to. I can't. I load Seriously? Fallout up. I take like five steps and Damn. I'm like, fuck this. Damn. Just like, yeah, it's, I can't play, I like, unless I'm playing with people, I really can't find any joy in games right now. Sucks. Hmm. Yeah. I'll play something for a little while and get bored of it and fucking... I'm, I'm kind of in a state too. I think I burnt myself out. Oh, and there's, we're stuck playing the same shit because there's nothing new that's good or worth the money they're charging for it. We have all their stuff to play, but it's like we, me and you specifically don't want to play just us. And Sean can't hop on every night. And Jules is... Yeah. Jules. Yeah, Jules sometimes is on, sometimes he's not. So we've tried to troll, play... Sometimes he's less of a troll. We've tried to play Siege and... and uh... We had some fun games and then it's just like, okay, cool. Yeah. 
fucking just fucking my internet's been a turd recently. So I play Valorant, can't get a fucking like my connection shit, my ping's skyrocketing for some fucking reason. We need to call your provider and say free max internet from the bondages currently in. I called today, and after like after that fucking stupid ass fucking phone call, I did something that I didn't think I would have to do with this fucking router. I looked up on because I can go to my fucking IP, look it up, and see how long my fucking router's been consistently running for. It's not fucking restarting itself. Nice. So it's been active so for 12 fucking days. It's just losing its shit. Yeah, it's been active for 12 fucking days. So I plug, unplug it, and you guys have heard me clearly the entire fucking night, right? Yep. Yeah. Something so fucking simple that should be built into those to fucking do it them goddamn selves periodically when it can read the usage of the fucking user. Because guess what? The usage of me? Fucking reset at 5 a.m. Ain't nobody awake. Yeah. I wonder if I can set my Nighthawk to do that. The fucking yeah, old you one? You can definitely set a Nighthawk to do that. 100%. Uh, my fucking old one, Tom, before it kept yeah. fucking resetting itself, would do that when I was fucking asleep. Yeah, I reset my yeah, manual. Mine does, but... Mind you, there were I a couple mean, times... Do... There were a couple times when it would reset when I'm fucking on it. I but... get everything through my phone on it. Like, I have an app that connects to it, and I can literally port forward and everything on it. Well, you oh, went to nice. specifically buy one. Yeah. This was sent to me by the fucking company itself. No, this, this is from the company. It's the Xfinity XY router. Oh. I thought you yeah. fucking had to go and buy one. No. Oh, okay. I can view my network details, see who's connected, all of that stuff. Yeah, I can do that too. That's how I seen how like the fucking uptime on the bitch. To see network. I can do advanced settings. I can change the Wi-Fi port forwarding. Look at the LAN and WAN. DNS server customization. Did you say WAN? WAN. <laughs> Did you say dedicated WAM? <laughs> oh. Fun fact: WAN does not stand for wireless area network. What's it stand for, Tom? We'll end it off on Wide that. Wide area network. There you go. Got your local and wide. Does anyone have anything to say about crossplay, video? Yes. No. Crossplay is a good thing. There needs to be more of it. Or at least the option for the players that want to to do so. Apparently, more. Xbox is the good one right now. Xbox? And Nvidia. Don't fuck it up. I don't think. <laughs> like they haven't fucked it up at all. Just don't start. There you go. That's what don't. that's what I mean. There don't don't fuck it up. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Thank you for dining with us tonight as we discussed what's was has been on our minds for the past week. I was your host, Mac. The rear co host. Tom. Huh? And Sean. Bye, everyone. Have a nice night.